So you want more leads and want more followers. This video is for you. I've been getting a lot of requests to make a short video showing how we set up our X ads for our agency clients. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith. We run over $2 million a month in ad spend for all of our agency clients throughout the world. And what we've been doing lately is setting up X Twitter ads because of the performance is outstanding. The cost per view and cost per click is so low that it's killing Google and Facebook ads. So we're transitioning a lot of our clients over here to get better results. Here's a customer we set up about 60 days ago. So they've only spent, and this is pretty wild. If you guys are, have you ever, if you've ever ran ads or haven't ran ads, you think that they're expensive, which they usually are, but for $185, I don't even know what the math is, how to say this. If you guys could help me, you know, tell me how to explain this the best, but 0 0.0023 per view. And with 163,000 impressions, they grew their followers on X and they also grew their analytics and their purchases on their store. So in the last 60 days, they're up 50% in website visitors and they're also up 13% in conversions. So these are people either scheduling a call or purchasing from their shop. So if you guys want more leads, more visitors to your site, and of course, more followers, you know, follow, try X ads. You only have to spend, I would recommend 100 to 500 a month, and it's gonna grow your followers, it's gonna grow your website visitors, and it's gonna get you sales. So how it starts is make sure you have an ad account, right? Ads.twitter.com, that's the key. You're gonna create a campaign, and never choose simple. That's like the old school boosting post, right? So we always wanna choose advanced. And I'm gonna walk you through just an easy campaign to set up. This is one where you can actually get more followers using X ads, but also get links to your site. Now, X ads are really specific on what your ad needs to be and targeting your audience. So what I'm gonna do is a faith-based entrepreneur ad. So I want engagements. I want people to comment. I want people to follow my profile and I want them to visit my website if they need any help, right? So this is super specific. I need to have that. Who's your audience? What are they searching for? If you're in e-commerce or Shopify, definitely choose sales. This is really powerful. It sets up a carousel ad. You can add videos to it and it'll pull products from your Shopify store. So if you're e-commerce, I'll make another video on my YouTube channel about this. But for today, let's get more followers. Let's get more website visitors and let's get it all for pennies per click. So we're gonna choose engagement, choose from there. And this one I'm gonna do is, um, just like I mentioned before, I wanna do a specific faith based. So I'm gonna do it just like that. Um, I want engagements, you're gonna copy that. And what you wanna do is keep all of this off. You're just gonna keep this off. I'm gonna make this video short. I've got longer video on how to do this on my YouTube channel, but for, this, for today's video, I'm gonna keep it super short. I like to start with just $10 a day, see how it converts. You'll get enough traffic that way. You're gonna keep this all the same. X is gonna set you up for success. So just keep this all the same. This all looks good, this all looks good. Then this is where we wanna be somewhat specific. If you're only targeting women, if you're only targeting men, if you're doing an age range. For me, you know, I'm pretty much 18 to 50. So let's go about right there. And then ink, uh, language. So as long as your country is set up properly, it really doesn't matter what the language is. You can just keep that optional. Um, but especially if you're just focused on the US. Now, if I wanted to branch out, I could go English and I could go Canada. And you could throw in another country like United Emirates. There we go. All right, so now I'm saying anyone in these three, because if they speak French and they're in Canada, that's not gonna work out too well, right? So we wanna keep operating systems off, keep this all off, X knows what we want. This is where custom audience is basically just finding um, a, a email list, you can upload an email list, or if you have pixels set up, you can retarget them, just ignore that for now if you're new. And these are the main three. We want keywords, follower lookalikes, and interests. So for me, I'm gonna think about who my audience is. I want a faith-based entrepreneur here. So first I wanna type in entrepreneur, check that off. And then I wanna say, who's a follower look like? So there is a, a pastor that I follow. Okay, so now I know people are have typed in or shown interest in entrepreneur in the keyword. 
And then I know that this is uh, a faith-based, you know, Christian pastor. So now I've already got 165,000 people in that target audience. Now you can also show interests. So they're also interested in business, right? Business advertising, business entrepreneur, business investor, business leadership, business marketing, small business. So now look at my audience. You want to be over 800,000 according to X. So now I've got a entrepreneur. And then let me put a couple more in there. All right, so I've got some keywords. I've got somebody, a lookalike. And then what I can do is actually click on recommendations and they're gonna show even more recommendations if we wanna narrow this down even further, which is really cool. So these are just some other um, entrepreneurs, or I'm sorry, faith-based pastors and Christian accounts here. Uh, here's a, a Christian rapper, so that's cool. Um, all right, so we've got three keywords. I've got four follower lookalikes and I have uh, six interests. So now I know who my audience is, right? It's business people, it's entrepreneurs, it's faith-based. That's what my ad needs to be about now. So that's what you really wanna focus on is whoever you choose here, the ad needs to be super specific. Now I ran a campaign for local. I said, hey, anyone in Florida, follow me, I'm looking to connect. What I did was I changed this um, area to Florida only, right? And then I changed this to entrepreneurs and people in Florida. And then that's when I went and set up my ad and that was my exact ad word. So now you can also retarget anyone that's engaged with your posts in the past. This is like an easy setup for retargeting and also anyone that has also is a following of my account. So I always like to retarget people um, just to remind them, hey, you saw my post yesterday, let's come back and do it again. All right, so now we're gonna hit next. All right, from there we can create the ad. So we can do a simple text ad. I could say looking to connect with. Something super simple. You can change the media to, um, to an image, whatever image you want. You can send them to your website and that's where you're gonna get pennies per click here. So let me just add a piece of media. Um, and this is just a dummy account here, by the way. So I've got that. And then we got your website. Of course, they want HTTPS. All right, so you guys get the gist. So that's your ad right there. And so that's how you set it up. This is the most important part um, when you're talking about your ad copy. Speak ex directly to your audience and have a call to action. What do you want them to do? If you just leave it information-based, nobody's clicking on it, you'll get a lot of bots. So what you wanna do is be, hey, if you're in Florida, connect with me. Hey, if you wanna lose weight, click the link. Hey, if you are faith-based, follow me. And that's really the key. You have to be specific. So you guys start sending up your X, X accounts. The cost per click is outrageous. <laughs> um, you know, one or a third of a penny per click to your site, um, 0 0.0023 for a view, and you're gonna get more clicks and increase your growth. Hopefully this video helped. Let me know in the comments if you what your audience is, and I'll help you come up with an ad copy.